next fallacious combination is, and by the way, we're doing combinations of logical fallacies that people can put together. They can use two, three, four, even five of these in one statement. And we're going to start off at a somewhat advanced level of noticing two logical fallacies in the same statement. The next one is when you combine the straw man with the loaded question. Let's again recap what these two are individually. The straw man is a false framing of your belief or your position. So you say something, someone rephrases what you said into something that you didn't say, and then they throw it back at you as if they're giving you your words back to you when they're actually not. That's the straw man. And then the loaded question is that someone asks you a question that has a presumption already built into it. In other words, they're asking you to respond to something that's not even real. And if you engage with it, and then again, it makes you look bad. So an example of a straw man is if I say something like, I like eating hamburgers. They'll say something like, oh, that's terrible that you hate animals. I, I didn't say I hate animals. I just said I like eating hamburgers. Doesn't mean I hate animals. Doesn't have a, mean I have a problem with cows. I actually like them because I like eating them when they become hamburgers. The loaded question is when a presumption is built into the question. That would be something like, like hey, are you still cheating on your wife? Hey, do you still have that STD that you had last time I knew about you? That's a loaded question because the, <laughs> the presumption is already built into the question. And if you engage with <laughs> That was funny. If you engage with the question as it is presented to you, then you are giving credence to the question, even if the presumption is complete nonsense. So again, you have to call these out when they happen. So an example of combining the two of these would be something like, hey, Dre, since you hate animals, you said you like hamburgers. So since you hate animals, do you feel the same way when uh, puppies get mutilated so that they can test out perfume products on them? That's a straw man and loaded question combined because you're straw manning my position on animals because I said I like hamburgers. And then you're giving me a loaded question about do I, am I okay with something that sounds crazy, which would make me sound very inhumane? Is it okay for them to mutilate puppies so they can test out perfume products? That's a form of combining the straw man and the loaded question together. And again, if you pay attention and listen to people, especially when there is active disagreement, you will notice these kind of things happening all the time. When you get to the next level, the intermediate level of logical fallacy understanding, you'll be able to point out these combinations without even needing a guide. Go to work on your game university.com, not so that you can learn how to use logical fallacies or even so you can point them out. You can point them out. I'll show you how to do that right here. But you want to master your communication, not only your ability to get your point across to others, but also notice the bullshit that other people try to throw at you, especially when they disagree with you and they're trying to make you look bad. That's all part of communication. Remember, communication is not just what you say, it's also what you, what you take in and how you understand it. Work on your game.